guys, I'm Alejandra. And I'm Caroline. And today we're making phyllo rolls stuffed with curried peanut chicken. It's a great kind of holiday appetizer. Um, sort of inspired by my favorite appetizer when I was growing up and my mom had parties. Those little def things that you would defrost. You know those little, no? You don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> Should I, guys? I mean. <laughs> I but she would buy these like party roll packages and then defrost them and they're all crispy phyllo things. Nice. But awesome. Anyway, phyllo rolls make an awesome party appetizer. And this one has a little peanut butter in it, even better. So starting off with a little bit of chicken. So this is just some chicken breast that I cooked in the oven. And if you don't like chicken, you can actually do shrimp. So it's pretty flexible. So just get that in the pan. And then we're also gonna do some softened cream cheese. Nice. Lots of deliciousness in here. It's that perfect, it helps bind it all together. I'm exactly, sure. yeah. Put a little muscle into it. <laughs> Just Put want that back and do it. Yeah. You can do it. So just keep mixing up the cream cheese and this cooked chicken. Just see it's nice and soft, it's starting to get really creamy. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to this. Just a few tablespoons to also get that nice and loose. Now we're gonna flavor this puppy up. Nice. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of garlic powder here. That's good, brings in some big flavor, pretty exactly. easy. Exactly, and a little bit of curry powder. So it's almost like a curried chicken salad. Um, that goes inside the phyllo roll. Nice. And then I've got some uh, chopped scallions. Put that all in there. Is this this is the whole scallions? The whole thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice and easy. I always like to use the whole thing, so that I'm not left with like half a scallion hanging in there, just white. A little bit of lemon to brighten that up a bit. Just about half a lemon. And now we've got some peanut butter. So for this, I'm using Smooth Operator because uh, it's going to be a nice creamy filling. And just a nice, generous scoop. And just stir that in. Some big flavors. Some definitely. big flavors. Yeah, the peanut and the curry works really well together. So this is our filling. Honestly, this would be awesome on its own, like as a chicken salad. And let's work on our phyllo rolls awesome. here. Awesome, how can I help? Okay, so we've got a package of phyllo. Okay. So phyllo dough can be a little bit finicky to work with, but um, I try to keep it as easy as possible. <laughs> so you just wanna unroll it, and then you wanna cut it into about um, 10 by six. This is, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. You basically just want kind of something about this size. <laughs> <laughs> like a small piece of paper. Exactly, yeah. So I'm gonna give you this half here. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna keep half of it. And then what you wanna do, very, very important, is um, paper towel, just a little bit damp, squeeze it out, and then keep it under that. So that's gonna keep your phyllo dough from drying out. I might take another one. We'll fight. I'll, I'll split you. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like, I guess you win. <laughs> All right. So just gonna keep it under, that's gonna keep it from drying out. So just wanna brush the entire sheet of phyllo with a little bit of butter. Okay. Or a lot of a lot bit of butter. <laughs> just soak that puppy. Get it buttery. Get it nice and buttery. And then I'm gonna take a spoonful of this and fill it at the end here. And then just kind of roll it up. Roll it up in like a, I don't know, like a mini burrito, a taquito. There we go. It's so easy. Yeah, so easy. And that's it. So that's it for your prep. So just line up your baking sheet with some parchment paper so it doesn't stick to it. And now we just repeat with the rest of the uh, the rest of the filling. This is a great party recipe. You can make this, I mean, days and days in advance and then just freeze it. And then you cook it. I love things that you can prep in advance because when you have parties, you want to hang with your guests. Absolutely. You don't want to... Oh, thanks. You don't want to be all up in the kitchen the whole time. So the lesson is find a friend. Find a pair. Find a friend to help you with this. <laughs> Go like that. Keep going. And that's the last one. I just want to brush these with a little bit of butter. They look great. A little bit more butter. <laughs> It smells really good too. You know, you can really smell the curry powder, the, and the curry, peanut butter. Yeah, the curry and the peanut butter work really well together. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to pop these into the oven, and it's going to be awesome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so these babies are out of the oven, and they've been cooling a bit. 
And uh, I just wanna make a little dipping sauce too. So super, super simple dipping sauce. It's like two ingredients. <laughs> honey and a little bit of chili. It's my chili honey sauce. <laughs> Descriptive. So, <laughs> so this is a little ground cayenne. You can pretty much use any kind of you know chili powder that you like. So just whisk that together. Just give it a little sweet and spiciness that goes really well with the the curry. So you want to try one of these? I would love if I would. All right. Do you mind? I'm going to touch it. Are you okay with that? I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I just cut it in half. I actually like to cut them in half when I serve them in and then I, people can just sort of grab. Yeah. It's, it makes them a nice size. Exactly. Yeah. Just dip them right in? Dip right in. Awesome. Hmm. Oh, it's tasty. It's really great. Mm -hmm. It's nice, right? The scallions make it nice and fresh, actually. Mm hmm yeah. I really like it. I love it. It's an awesome flavor combination. Mm. So there you have it. Filo rolls or curried peanut butter chicken. Have you ever used peanut butter in a savory recipe? Well, tell us about it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. We hope you love the recipe. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Every week we cook up a new peanut buttery dish. So make sure to subscribe to the Peanut Butter and Company channel to catch them all. See you next time. <laughs> <Here's the cash. laughs> How do you feel about cooking with peanut butter? <laughs>